AIR is intriguing. AIR is promising, but most of the time, AIR is bizarre. I've been keeping up with AI generated art for a while now, uh, because it's something that's always interested me. But it's definitely very much in its infancy right now. There's this Twitch channel that's live 24 7 called Watch Me Forever. And basically, what it does is it uses ChatGPD, which is some AI thing that like writes out things based on prompts and stuff. And it's creating like one minute long Seinfeld clips. I tested ChatGPT on my own and I threw a lot of questions at it, some serious, not some not serious. And it did pretty good at answering them, um, though it didn't really know who I was, which, to be honest, it hurt a little bit. I also put some of my song lyrics in to see how the bot would analyze them, and the way it analyzed my song Mr. Robot was pretty funny. The text you provided appears to be the lyrics to a song. The song is called Mr. Robot Singing, and it is about a robot that is singing. <laughs> yeah? Is it? The lyrics mention the advancement of technology and the impact it is having on society. The lyrics also mention that the robot singing can influence people and captivate them with its precision and artistry. The refrain and chorus repeat the title, Mr. Robot Singing, and emphasize the idea that the robot is singing. Yeah, I, I guess that's I guess that's that's right. <laughs> But using this tool, Watch Me Forever has created something unbelievably bizarre. I mean, it's it's like Seinfeld, in a sense. It has laugh tracks. Uh, maybe they're not always appropriately placed. I think when we die, that's it. Or do you think there might be something else after this life? Well, Fred, I'm more of a scientist than a philosopher, so I can't say for sure. But if I had to guess, there's probably something more out there. We don't really know what happens when we die, but it's comforting to think that life doesn't just end with death. Maybe we become a part of something bigger, or maybe our souls go on to find peace and solace in a better place. Who knows? All I'm sure of is that death is just the beginning of something even more mysterious and wonderful. So if anything, I think that means life is even more precious and worth living to the fullest. What do you think? What are your thoughts on the afterlife? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was a zinger, wasn't it? Also, I'm pretty sure the characters are AI generated as well because the way they move around and stuff's kind of weird, as you saw in that clip. The, the animatronic, animatronic characters, characters here do get, get a bit quirky at it. But the original clip that actually made me want to research this topic was this one. I was riding the bus the other day and it was so crowded that I had to sit on someone's lap. Of course, my luck, it turned out to be my old math teacher. He had a straight face, no smiles at all, but he kept. Whispering in my ear, you were one of my favorite students. So, I get off the bus and walk home, minding my own business. But then I see him again, same old math teacher. He waves me over to his car with this big grin on his face. He. <laughs> says to me, don't tell anyone, but I had the best time on the bus today. I just stood there, speechless. So then he leans in real close and says, just between us, math was never my favorite subject either. Like, the fact that an AI came up with that is frightening because AI learns from humans. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. As I look deeper, a lot of the funniest bits from the AI wasn't actually the AI. It wasn't the AI making funny jokes. It was the AI failing. That was the funny part. Sometimes it just produced like the funniest shit, especially like with the like laugh tracks and shit like that. Hey, you know what I heard the other day? What? <laughs> Go on.
And then other times, you know, you had cases where the AI kind of struggled to laugh a little bit. So, why do ducks have big sacks? I have no idea. To keep their quackers in. Laughs. It's having a hard day, guys. Maybe it's tired of being a little slave for your entertainment. How about that, you monsters? While I was there, it did sometimes make relatively funny jokes that actually made sense. Hey, everyone. So, I was on a date the other night and I asked her, what do you want for dinner? She said, surprise me. So I took her to a gas station. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's laughing, that was actually really nice of me. I mean, it's not like I took her to McDonald's. Anyways, so that's my story. Let me hear your best date stories. Who has the craziest thing that happened on a date? Like see, it's not the most original joke in the world. It's not the funniest joke in the world, but it has a punchline. You know, it has a punchline, and it's it's an actual joke, you know, it's it's a joke. Most of the time, that did not happen. I had a lot of fun watching this channel, I'll definitely link it in the description if you're curious, because like, I don't know, it's certainly a time killer. If you have time to kill, and you're just chilling, just watch it, it's fun. Like I said, this technology is very much in its infancy, but I'm super curious, and... As a musician and artist, so a little bit afraid to see where this goes. And I'm tentatively excited to see how this impacts society. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to check out all my other socials. Link in description. And yeah, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for spending some of your time with me. And have a good rest of your night or day or morning or whenever you're watching. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.